good. In the last exercise or lesson, we got to see the Bernoulli's equation. Now it's time to analyze Torricelli's law, which is very common in the fluid dynamics. Once again, this is a sub-application of the mechanical energy equation, which is right here. Instead of learning the Torricelli's law, you don't need to learn it, just understand how it works. The concept goes like this, we have a tank and we want, for example, to make a hole right here and of course you know fluid is going to go out at certain velocity. Hopefully it makes sense to you that if you make the hole here, it will be a weak jet and if you make the hole here, you will have a very strong and fast jet. Okay. The concept of Torricelli, as you can see, there is no pumping, there is no machine. We don't take away work in any sense, so there is no tubing. We are going to suppose there is no friction, even though you could learn also the Torricelli law with a friction, which I don't think is that critical, but you can do it. There is no pressure head because, of course, here is atmospheric pressure pushing, and this is also atmospheric pressure pushing. The final law is, what is the velocity here? It's dependent on the height and gravity. How do we do this? Well, essentially, since there is no pressure, or exactly, technically speaking, it's the same pressure, so we will cancel PA and PV. The height, well, we cannot say it's zero, so we cannot take it away. Velocity in A, this is, of course, A, I forgot to establish my point. Very important. My A point is zero because, well, if you were to measure the velocity here, we will have micro millimeters per second or so, so you can say it's zero. We have enough pump, so take it away. Uh, okay, we cannot take this away. Recall this is almost always one, in this course will be always one. Velocity on B will, wouldn't make sense to take it away because that's what we want to calculate, the velocity in this point. Uh, assume there's no friction and no work, so we are left only with gravity here, and the height here, and this velocity, and of course, this number two. So we got this equation, let's call it equation number one. So for velocity, pass this to the left, and then this number two to the left, once again, and take the square root, and you get two times gravity, times, actually it's the difference of heights, which you could say is the total height. Delta C or simply height. You got it here. Perfect. Hopefully you got the idea. Let's do an exercise. It's pretty, pretty easy. We got this case. This is a tank. Let's say this is atmospheric. Specific gravity of the substance is 1.15. The diameter, the hole's diameter is 50 millimeters. So that's very important, guys. And here, as you can see, there's no diameter in any equation. So you need to, let's say, force the diameter to appear with respect of velocity. Remember, velocity is a function of diameter. The height of B or C value of B, maybe taking a zero because, of course, we will make the reference. Even though one person could say, okay, I want to, the ground to be zero, I want B to be number two or two meters away, and therefore A must be seven meters away. Whatever you use, 7 minus 2 will give you 5, 5 minus 0 will give you 5, so the overall height is 5. Friction loss equals to 0, and they tell you what will be the speed of this jet right here, of this beam of water. Actually, it's not water, but we know the substance is, or has a specific gravity of 1.15. Okay, let's do it. Once again, guys, please... I will totally recommend you not to learn by heart at all. This is the typical example of Torricelli. So I will lose. I will use Torricelli's law. No, forget that, guys. Because if I were to tell you, we got a gauge pressure here in order to help and do it faster. Well, you know, pressure will push it. Your law or Torricelli law is fucked up. It won't work. So wouldn't make any sense doing it. Or if I tell you, we cannot neglect friction because it's a very, very long tank, actually, you could say it's a, a tube. So, once again, you will not be able to use this beautiful Torricelli's law. 
But anyways, in this case, we will make the assumptions. So pressure, same pressures. Actually, it's here. Pressure of A equals pressure of B. is one atmosphere or atmospheric pressure. The velocity on A, I tell you, you could say it's almost zero, or maybe you could say it's one centimeter per minute or something like that, which will be almost zero. The density is just to calculate that of water, 1.15, and you get 1,115 kilograms per cubic meter. Now pump, now work, out, so take this away. And very nice, we have it right here. So guys, what will happen if I will tell you, for example, that the loss of friction is equal to 5 meters? Well, you wouldn't be able to cross this, and if you were to use this equation, you will have a higher velocity than the actual, because you will lose energy, and energy means velocity. But anyways, this is the Torricelli's law example, so no worries. We will use this equation, but I just want you to to be sure guys that you know how to do this and once again <clears throat> solve for the question you are asked which is velocity, what's the velocity and remember I always try to use 5 minus 0 even though I know it's 5 but it makes a little bit more sense in mathematics you have your two variables right here gravity 9.8 and you got your velocity which is 9.80 9 meters per second, which is a lot. Imagine the tank is about how 5 meter long. The tank, oops. If I tank right here, let's make a little analysis. The height is 5 meters. Let's say it goes away. You will, in one second, guys, you will go and set almost 10 meters because that's the velocity. Imagine you have two seconds, you will go almost away 20 meters, and so on. So that's a lot. And we're done, guys. You want to check more problems of this type, please go and check out the website right here. Go to courses. The Applied Fluid Dynamics, which is this course about. And we are actually in part number one, which is Incompressible Flow. And check out the Mechanical Energy Examples you will find a lot of solved problems few requests and of course this is slideshow and you can find even more stuff in the library such as examples in excel and documents and so on this was a free preview you want to get full access go to my incompressible flow course the link is in the description of the video you will get all access not only that you get a very straightforward uh, user-friendly interface so for instance you were analyzing or studying pumps you have it here the pump block and then you have the sections if you are for example studying the types of pumps you can go here and you have all the classes right here not to mention that you also have introduction and conclusion of every one of these so for instance if you were studying positive displacement pumps the video is right here you were studying positive displacement pumps in rotatory and reciprocal are also included here. Centrifugal pumps, which is a very important topic in this course, you have it right here.